Oh, I looky, I on. Okay, hold on, let me fix this. Let me fix this now. Okay, here I am. Hi. Okay, it's me. Uh, it's Paul Carpenter. Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, and all that good stuff. Uh, this is called Getting Ready, I guess? I don't know. Um, this is kind of like a, a, a an apology, yet also, at the same time, uh, a place of trying to explain um, a bit of what uh, being bipolar is, you know? And, uh, and, and going through manic episodes. So, um, I said this to somebody recently and, 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 and she, she was, so this person said to me, look, I have a lot of problems and issues and, and, uh, and, and then, uh, I know I lie a lot and, and, and I hurt people. So, you know, just get ready for that. And I was just like, well, you can't tell me what, you know, that you have problems and then just use them against me. That's not very nice, you know, so. Just because I have problems doesn't mean I get to use them against you is what I'm trying to say. And I apologize for frightening people and for uh, placing people in a, in a place of, uh, of unknowing of where I am. Uh, but sometimes uh, in the world of this bipolar kind of thing, that's what happens. You come to this very unsure place and you don't know if anything you say or even do feels right or is right and uh you just get lost in it and so um yeah basically that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> i'm lost in it man <laughs> um but but uh but yeah so the the whole concept here is this um i just wanted to say that I'm here, I'm getting ready to move forward and uh, keep pushing for whatever I can, right? Uh, and having goals and, uh, and, and, and definitive goals in front of me so that we can get somewhere because we all want to do that. That's, that's all we all want to do. And uh, again, like always, you don't know how many times you fall down, you got to get up. Cause what other choice do we have? Uh, <laughs> But no, but for real, at least we're doing something. At least we're trying. We're trying. Trying. So, uh... Um... It's a pinch. You'll be alright. Yeah, it's a pinch, man. And, you know, I also think I need to apologize to everybody because through my mania, I also feel as though I blew things so out of proportion with, uh, with all these, uh, you know characters that were outside of where I was, and so, you know, um, I, 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 I was in, in, in knowledge that she was going around, so we'll kind of talk about this now, uh, saying that I was a pedophile, and, and that's not, that's not what happened, she and I were in a fight she said some very abusive things to me, which were the things I mentioned. Um, from from there, I'm not sure uh, that it went any farther. I don't know that it didn't, could have. Maybe she said to in somebody to a story, and this is how it actually happened, and I said this, and it was in the heat of the moment kind of thing. Uh, but in my belief, I... I, I, I was I was sure that that's what she was doing and that my friends were colluding with her to hurt me and um, that ended not being true in any way shape or form I went to my friend's house uh, on the third or fourth day shaking thinking he was gonna try and shoot me and I got to his house and uh, as soon as he opened the door, I got down on my knees and started crying and shaking and telling him how sorry I was. And, um, he laughed at me. He's like, bro, I've known you for 32 years. Why'd you delete me? It's not funny. It's 
It's actually kind of sad. And the thing is, like, you know, you would think, like, hey, man, um, yeah, uh, thank you, Isaac, thank you, I, I appreciate you. You know, you, well, you gotta, you gotta, look, man, I think that that's, I've known that since I was, like, 10 or so, you know, you gotta pick up and move on and, and, and always do the best you can to be the best you can, and, and we're all so broken and so hurt, and, and it's not our fault m most of the time, you know? And just because we're broken and, 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 and hurt doesn't mean that we get to use that against other people, you know? The whole hurt people, hurt people thing is, it should be changed to hurt people should seek people to help them not be hurting people anymore. <laughs> it's a lot longer than it needs to be, but you know what I mean. Um, and so, I think that that's really what it is, though. Really, and I mean that honestly. Uh... I love you too, Scott, and, and, and I think that that's really, honestly, the thing, you know, that the only thing we can do is try to be really good, loving people, and then whenever something bad happens, try to be good, loving people, <laughs> and, and, and sometimes even after, I'm getting mad hits, look at this, this is awesome, um, and even after the person sometimes gets into you and gets you all angry and whatever, you find a way to resolve it and you find a way to like, like for instance, I was very angry. I told her I was going to throw away all of her stuff and uh, I, uh, and it was all of her parts for the car that I'd been trying to fix for her. So instead I took it to the guy who I, I got the car from and I just put it in front of his house and just left it there and then finally... Uh, you know, I took everything and I took it to her house because I just don't want the karma of it all. I didn't, I don't want to, I don't want to be seen as a bad person within this whole thing. And, and I feel as though like I've been in her mind, maybe I've been made out to be this really angry person. And I mean, I can be, but I mean, I'm not, I don't think I am normally. I think I only like flip out when somebody attacks my, my, uh, my 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 myself like something about like i know like something like real about me like they're like you're this and i'm like what the fuck no not at all that <laughs> and then i just go absolutely ape shit you know which is not something you're supposed to do by the way um and i get this a lot this kind of bothers me and, and people like are like yo dude why are you making videos and telling people how to have a better life when your life sucks. I don't know. Because <laughs> I, I, I feel like I can. That's why. I, I don't know. I think maybe it's my own way of making a diary. And it's like my way of talking into a diary so that like in the future I can look back and be like, what an idiot. Or I can be like, wow, that guy had some fucking knowledge, this fucking idiot guy over here. You know what I mean? Like something like that. I think that's what it is. Something like that. I like to share. And really it's because probably that I'm so lonely. And I, because I don't have anybody in my life. I'm alone. I don't need a wife and the kids and the house. Like, I don't need any of that shit. So I'm so lonely, right? that I'm reaching out to this world of interwebs hoping that somebody will be like, hey bro, yeah, I totally feel what you're saying, man. You know? And, um, yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so then you're like, oh, cool, there's a couple people that feel the same shit I do. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's like my phone has become my Wilson. Oh, well, because none of you, I don't get to talk to any of you guys, really, but for real, for real. I mean, I do, obviously, on the side, and we all hang out and whatever, but you know what I mean. But, like, on these things, where I get, like, little messages. That could be, like, messages in a bottle coming on the ocean, and I'm hanging out with Wilson. I'm like, Wilson! Wilson! You know what I mean, right? It's because that's why we're all doing it. We're all doing this kind of, like, reaching out for love, you know, and... And someone said something to me, and I don't know if this is too intense or not, but you tell me. She said, you know, 
I'd love somebody even though they didn't love me. And I was like, well, I don't know if I consider that love. I might consider that like unconditional love, but I don't consider that love. Because to me, love is something like, I, I, it's a calling out to your partner for them to also do the calling out. Does that make sense? And it's not like, you know, like you're, 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 it's not like you're begging. You're just saying, like, you're, yeah, you know, like I tried to do a, I don't know what the hell that was, but some kind of animal. But it's like, yeah, you're just doing your natural thing, noise, whatever that is. And, and, and you just want your partner to do that natural noise too. I don't think it's much more than that. I think other than that, it becomes like this whole thing with interwebs and people looking at people's profiles and TV and movies telling you what's what, how's how. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? And so it's like, yeah, no, I don't need any of that. But that's what usually ruins the relationships. I mean, we're in this place where, like, the idea of commitment means nothing. It's like, hey, we're going to get married. And it's like, you're not getting married to get married. You're getting married for the party, bro. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> and like three, four, five years later, there's a kid. And the people are divorced. And you're like, what happened? Oh, no, we didn't know each other that well. It got all crazy. It's okay, though. I'm a single mom now. I'm a single dad now. And it's like, what happened to commitment? What happened to this means something to me? I mean something to you. I'm going to hold on to this. And I'm going to work at it. And I'm going to like diligently, every day, build a foundation with you that says, I love you. Every morning when I wake up, I'm going to make my prayers, say hello to my God. And the first person I see or the first thing I talk to is going to be you. And when I do, it's going to be good morning. I'm so thankful for having you. I'm so thankful for smelling you. I'm so thankful for farting next to you. I'm so thankful I'm going to go make us breakfast right now. Let me get the, you know, you know what I mean? And then at, at night, you you finish your day, and right before you give your prayers, you, you give your prayers, and then you say, hey, I wanted to thank you for all the things we did today and all the fun time we had. And, oh, that thing that we did was so good, and that conversation that we had was so great, and I truly appreciate you and love you for it. I just wanted to say thank you, and I hope you have the sweetest of dreams. Because that's nice. And you build a foundation like that. Something that's meaningful. Or at least you try to make it meaningful. And if the other person's not doing the same thing, <laughs> they're not... You know? If they're not, like, doing the same thing... And it feels like there's only one person in the relationship. That's not love. That's unconditional love. Like, I don't love homeless, but I have unconditional love for homeless. 100% unconditional love for the homeless. Because they're only there for three reasons. Mental problems. Drug problems. Physical problems. Nine times out of ten, by the way. Those are the main three reasons. So it's like... I have mad unconditional love for people who are in a shitty situation in life. <laughs> Fuck me. And most of them aren't there because they want to be. And most of them are there because they're disenfranchised by a system. You know what I mean? Most of them are there because of, uh... Of, uh... Of, of, of a family that was not totally put together. Or a problem with drugs where they just didn't get control over it. Or they just didn't have control in the first place, you know? And that's that's so many people and so many things. And like I said the other day on my post, I was like, you know, so many people fall through the cracks. And I'm just lucky that I, at a young age, started talking to so many people and meeting so many people. And trying to be as boisterous and loud and really just trying to love people as much as I could. Because through that, like, my safety net has become you people. Has become this box that I talk into. 
and although it may not be hundreds of thousands of people watching and all that good stuff you know and I don't know how good that stuff might be I've never had it but um, you guys have become my family you guys have become my everything you know like it's why I share every moment with you whether it's good or bad or happy or whatever you know or my new piece of art it's because like you guys are you guys are home <laughs> you guys are on my home page bro get it <laughs> you know, like come on no but I mean yeah you know like for real and so it's like in my in my moments of like full on attacks and panic and freaking out I feel like there's a real family that I can just reach out to and say hey man I'm I'm having moments and maybe not go so crazy next time um, and reach out to those people that I know can actually ground me again because it's a it's a beautiful thing to have friends that that care about you so much and want to see your betterment and and understand that there's something that you want to share with people that's actually a really good thing and it, it comes from uh, it comes from a good place, you know what I mean? It's not a place of of uh, manipulation or a place of ego. It's a place of just wanting everyone to be okay. And how can that not be a good place to come from? Do you know what I mean? So I'm getting ready. And on that note, my friends, please go out in the world and do something nice for somebody else. And if you can't, do something nice for yourself because it does start with you. Number two, don't get caught up in all the crazy because if you do, guess what happens? <laughs> yeah. And number three, please like, share, subscribe. Send this message out to somebody who needs to hear it. I love you and I love you so much. I'll see you all on the other side.